Man returned the cart to its place, and immediately the machine spit out three coins. He used these coins to fully pay for a hamburger. Victor was starving. He finally had his first full meal since being stuck at the airport. He repeated this method, collecting carts around the airport. Soon, Victor was pushing a long line of carts back in place, as the machine clanged, dispensing money, which he used to buy a deluxe hamburger meal. With food sorted, communication became the main challenge. Victor, not knowing English, bought two identical books, one in English and the other in his native language, and began to teach himself by comparison. Additionally, by listening to others speak English daily, he managed to start conversing with others, albeit with difficulty. As days passed, although Victor still couldn't leave the airport, he managed to live quite comfortably. However, the supervisor started to worry. After working hard for decades and finally nearing a promotion, Victor's presence, whether wandering in pajamas or bathing in the restroom, tarnished the airport's image. Determined not to let his promotion slip away, the supervisor plotted to get Victor out by telling him that at noon, the door guards would change shifts, leaving a five-minute unguarded window, clearly suggesting Victor should leave. If Victor dared to step out, the supervisor could arrest him for illegal entry, thereafter leaving matters to the police. Unbeknownst to him, Victor hesitated at the door for a long time, knowing that leaving was illegal. Ultimately, he decided to wait for his country's war to end. Frustrated, the supervisor created a new position the next day specifically to collect carts, aiming to cut off Victor's income source. Unexpectedly, a new opportunity arose when an airport delivery man approached Victor, offering meals in exchange for help with courting a visa officer. Victor visited her daily to try his luck getting a stamp. This task was simple for Victor, and he immediately agreed. From that day, Victor chatted daily with the lady, facilitating a relationship between her and the delivery man, eventually helping them get together. Through this, Victor befriended the delivery man and even met the airport's janitors. However, continually mooching meals wasn't ideal, so Victor began looking for a job at the airport. Lacking citizenship and an address, nearly all shops were hesitant to hire him, leaving Victor looking for new opportunities. Then, he spotted a rough wall. After months, his professional instincts as a senior engineer kicked in, and he couldn't bear the sight of the uneven wall. He picked up tools and got to work, unbeknownst to him. By dawn, the construction crew had gathered behind him, captivated by his skillful craftsmanship, and decided to hire him on the spot. Victor's life improved even more, leaving the supervisor exasperated, wondering how Victor could be so difficult to deal with. The supervisor decided to employ even harsher measures against Victor, vowing to shave his head in atonement if he couldn't get rid of him.